I can't read chat because Zeus told me Longer he has something to better. show me. So he wants to. He said it's really poggers, and he. I, I mean, I don't know what it. He said it's a synth item. Log in I, Okay, I'm logged in. Right. Okay. So I found something cool. A synthesis item in my leg. Look at that. How is that a synthesis item? <laughs> oh, I was invading you. Wait. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! What? What? How? <laughs> Wait, what? Well, you actually got a mage blood. Are you one card off? I'm one card off. Right, so you got well, a farm. We, we are one card off. Yeah, I'm probably we... just gonna give you the mage blood. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna use it either, so I mean... But the I don't fight... know if I'm gonna use it. Yeah. We might just have a cosmetic mage blood. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. Yeah, I got one card off a stack deck. I also got a voices. Uh, stack deck, wow. but it died. I put a disfavorite card in good stash as well. How oh, cool. So this waited the whole day for your reaction. Yeah, so no, if you guys don't know, is... I've been kind of uh, hungover the last two days. Um, I don't know if this spared you the details. Hopefully he did. But yeah, I've been a bit unwell. Um, I'm still... I don't have my appetite, really. So TLDR, was it worth getting pissed on New, York, um, New Year's Eve? To miss two days of streaming, fuck no. But it happened. Uh, I'm back, and we're gonna play the video game again. Why did you make me watch this? Why did you? Why did you make me watch this? Why did? Why did you make me watch this? <laughs> it gets better. I don't think I wanted to get better. When he, you know, when he gave me the, when he put one card in, I thought he meant you should gamble them. And I was kind of sad. And then he put three more. <laughs> oh, dude. Because I did not want to gamble them. Because I'm like, fuck, you, I was like, fuck, you really, you, you're going to do me like this? Can you explain why fizz damage taken as fire is strong? Uh, it's not about fizz damage taken as fire. Like, it could be cold or lightning. Even chaos, but you know, obviously, when you're stacking this much max res, the um, an LE damage reduction, the LE mods are actually a bit better. The reason fish damage taken as LE is strong, if you have 50% fish damage taken as an element, apparently this works before armor, which means um, if you have a hit of 10k and you convert half of it, only the the half will go to your fizz armor. Which basically makes your armor like, like how much more effective would that be? Like five times more effective? Or twi- you know. It, it just makes your armor way stronger basically. You will not pain. I will bathe this world in blood! Stupid poison builds. Be gone! I cannot die. You know this. <laughs> Clean. My tink. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my tink. <laughs> my bad, my bad, chat. My bad, my bad. My bad, my bad. Wow. Actually, perfect roll. I don't know what build uses vulnerability and enfeeble, but like, that's a really good roll. So, do you want abyss? Or do you want enrage strong boxes? Don't care about map, soul, corrupted. Don't care about that. Should I YOLO one? I mean, I only have one. Should I just YOLO one? Wow. That's cool. So we got Elder Guardian and Shaper Guardian. That's 16 Elder Guardians I just got. That's crazy. I just got 20 boss maps. Deli feels faster. Hey, you in the block. Um, you put three shit sextons on while they're in your device. And then you're all the fourth one. It's not very good. I didn't say you could sex and block well. But, you know, you can sex and block. So the only one that I'm missing is the one that I rolled over. This is awesome. I mean, I didn't roll over it recently. This was a long time ago. This was like two weeks ago. Oh, I got it. I got it. Yes. Gilded Scarab. Conqueror map. Sacred Grove. Harvest Yellow. Is that all you need to like... I mean, that's the combination, right? All you have to do is wine. True, dude. True. 
So what does this combination do? So harvest yellow life force means that your crops have at least one yellow plant and the duplet and the harvest is double. This guarantees that you get a harvest because obviously if you run the sextant and you don't get the thing, it's bricked, right? This allows you to get a conqueror map every single map that you run. And this allows you to get three scarabs every single map that you run. So you combine it with seance. So that way you get three gilded scarabs back and you put three gilded scarabs in your map device with growing hordes. This gives you 30% pack size. Then you would probably need a very particular atlas. You probably want map duplication, I imagine. I'd, ha I'd have to look up the atlas. But yeah, all, obviously you want all the um, quantity pack, you know, all, all the map modifier bullshit. You'd, you'd want them to be pretty juiced up essentially. You know what's scary though about the strategy? You need to be able to do a conqueror with fucking what? 200% more life and 100% more damage. Oh, you don't have to do it on a conk map anymore because they nerfed that shit. Oh, oh, that's so much easier. How does the other juice help you sustain? There's a harvest craft does not consume sextants. And so if you enchant your map with does not consume sextants, you always have the sextants. The problem is you need to be able to maintain the yellow juice for the craft. And so the whole strategy revolves around sustaining the yellow crafts the yellow juice crafts. It's pretty much only good if you like want to target farm shaper or elder right. or whatever or late. conquerors. How pain is grand spectrum farming? I want min endurance and frenzy lol. It is 90 minutes per grand spectrum on average. It depends on how hard, try hard you go here but this was on a relatively fast character. Yeah 300 movement speed or whatever. I want to say it's like less than a 1 in 10 to get one of the good ones. So you're looking at like easily like what? 18 hours per good one? Like probably more. I didn't get a single good one. And keep me in mind, that doesn't sound bad, but it is literally just Grand Spectrum farming. It is like you're literally just doing this one singular thing. So even if it does take you like 40 hours, you gotta keep in mind it's 40 hours of just this one thing. Would you rather do 40 hours in normal lab or 40 hours cutting grass? <laughs> um, yeah, it depends on the weather. <laughs> I mean, normal lab is pretty fucking bad, I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty bad. <laughs> it was pretty bad. <laughs> I felt bad for even streaming it. So the atlas I'm using is called the Wandering Path Atlas. The Wandering Path Atlas takes no notables because it runs Wandering Path. This doubles the effect of all small passives. The small passives get double, du uh, doubled as you can see, right? It's designed to do two things. It's designed to over sustain, but it's also designed for boss farming. So first of all, I stack 100% chance to drop an adjacent connected map. So what this means is if I full clear the map, I'll always drop one connected map. With favoriting or shadow shaping, whichever one you prefer, um, you can see I've got Defiled and Mesa. This means that if I'm running a Mesa, right, it's going to drop Defiled. And if I'm running Defiled, it's going to drop Mesa. Like, you know, like something like 99 times out of 100. I don't, you'd have to do the math. It's, it's a lot. It also means your natural drops are more likely to be Mesa and Defiled, but you're mostly abusing that connected map tech. Now, those connected maps then also have a chance to duplicate. But it's very important to note that this duplicate chance also applies to Shaper, Elder, and Conqueror maps. Not Synthesis, but it definitely applies to the others. And so this allows me to have 36%? 37. 37% more boss maps. So if I, let's say I do 10 maps, which gets me on average one Guardian, it then has a chance to duplicate that Guardian. Which is very important because we don't have access to Conquered Conquerors, Remnants of the Past, etc. That was one guy. Was it though? My thing, my thing, my thing, my thing. I mean, th this time around, this wants to stream BPL. I'm not even saying I'm gonna play, by the way. I'll probably still be playing the regular game. But um, this wants to not even play. He just literally wants to. Um, he wants to stream the, you know, like the leader POV, like the team leader POV. I don't know if he'll be able to. Like, I don't know if he'll be selected as a team lead. But like, it, it, from his point of view, it's not about like feeding streamers at all. But you know, I, I mean, if that's the perception, it's kind of sad. My tink again? I, didn't, I haven't even clicked an altar. 
I had to check if I clicked an alto. I, had to, I actually had to check if I clicked an alto. I was like, what the fuck? <sighs> Convince me to play a stress poison. Do you like a build that has insanely high amounts of time to ramp? Do you want to play a build that Twitch chat will call ZDPS? Do you want to have questionable clear? Do you want to be a mortal? The immortal part's pretty sweet though, actually. 